Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Welcome back. Um, first time watcher, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I have a review for you of Yankee Candle's Sweet Nothings. And uh, so this is one of the five new fragrances that are out right now, right? Along with um, Early Spring Bloom, Sun Drenched Apricot Rose, A Common Quiet Place, Juicy Citrus and, and uh, Sea Salt, and then and this guy. So there's five, five right now. Uh, there will be more... Uh, four to five more coming out, I think, over the course of the next couple of weeks. And uh, I have to say, this candle was not on my review list. Um, it, it didn't really do much for me when I smelled it during the preview. Uh, when they had the, the limited edition tumblers, they were, I think, uh, 10 ounces, 13 bucks. They were tapered. But um, they didn't have lids on. They only had the dust covers. So... Um, I don't know if that was it or if it was the milk cup that I smelled, but it they just they just weren't wasn't doing it for me. So I had an exchange. I exchanged Macintosh. Um, so I picked up the small tumbler. As you can see, I had a real good burn going all the way down to there. So um, seven ounces, single wick. Um, what do they call this? A salt, the smooth wax. I think they call it. Uh, Thirty-five to fifty-five hour burn time. Yeah, seven ounces. Um, nice little lavender, lavender color. Very nice lavender. Uh, the label, like bubbles, like uh, like a bubble bath or um, uh, not really champagne bubbles, but a uh, bubble bath or if you're just blowing bubbles, um, those things. It really has nothing to do with the name, um, but we'll get into that. We'll get into that. So. Uh, Yankee describes this as a, a warm, soft, and sweet, like a special whisper just for you. So, sweet nothings, right? Whispering sweet nothings into your ear. Um, the, the notes on this, a little, little weird, but we'll get to that. So, watery cyclamen, which is a plant. Um, you've probably seen it around Christmas time. It's a, uh, in the northeast here, it's an indoor plant. It looks like an African violet, but the flowers sh are straight up. It has, like, the African violet leaves, but the flowers are straight up like that. Um, queen of the night, lotus blossom, amber, woody, and vanilla musk notes. So, the queen of the night is the interesting one here because that is a, that's a night-blooming plant. Uh, it's a night-blooming orchid cactus, and it's, um... Uh, Got like a sweet, sweet scent to it. Kind of looks almost like, um, I don't have any here or any other room, but a Christmas cactus, like how they cascade over, but it's got larger flowers on the end. Um, a lot of growers out in California um, have them. So this candle, it's it's risque, right? It's, um, the the scent notes remind you, it's, it's a little naughty. It's a little uh, intimate, sensual, um, smell it's it's uh it's very light and powdery um like a, like a woman's perfume it's like a, a very nice um uh attention getter like like trying to attract you seduce you seduction right like almost like a seduction type scent um it's very nice it's uh, probably good for like a, a bathroom or, or a bedroom. Uh, this actually threw pretty well for me. I was actually pretty impressed with the throw on this. Um, it actually so far has outthrown a common quiet place, which, which I have in a medium jar going right now. Um, that thing is a soot monster, by the way. That thing is just throwing soot. I keep trimming the wicks and wick keeps getting shorter and it's not pulling right. So I'm having an issue with that. Um, moving on from that. So, yeah, this is, uh, I would, I'd recommend if you like a light, soft, powdery scent, um, uh, vanilla, sandalwood vanilla, it, it's not a really intense vanilla, but it's more amber than vanilla, so kind of, it's kind of on the lines, like the amber's kind of along the lines of, um, Warm Lux Cashmere that came out in the fall, um, this is probably a little bit more intense on the amber than that. I um, wish I had one to, to compare to. So, well, that's my review of uh, of Sweet and Nothings uh, Yankee Candle. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about. Um, I'm not sure if 
uh, you've heard, but YouTube just changed their rules for um, us uh, content creators, us uh, channel creators, uh, to monetize off of the ads that we run on here. And this is going to affect a lot of people. A lot of the channels you probably watch, a lot of other reviewers too will probably be affected by this. Um, they bumped it from uh, 10,000 views to some outrageous number, like you have to have 1,000 subscribers and over 4,000 hours of watch time, I think. And uh, so uh, uh, I got disqualified from the new um, the new thing there. Um, you know, it's, it's not much. You don't make much off YouTube, right? You don't make a 10, 15, 20 bucks a month for uh, something small like, like what we do here. But uh, so what I did was um, I created a Patreon page and do not feel obligated to contribute or anything. It's just if you want to contribute, if you like what I do, um, anything like that, it's just something that to uh, un until we get to that monetization part of, uh, of YouTube, uh, we're you know, eligible again. Um, it just, uh, you know, softens the blow because, you know, I, I pay for all these guys myself. Um, Yankee doesn't send me anything. Kringle doesn't send me anything. You know, I, I get them when they're on sale. Um, but um, I put a put a Patreon page up. Uh, I put a link to the description below. Um, if you can contribute a couple bucks, awesome. Appreciate it. If not, you know, obviously no obligation. Don't feel uh, obligated to do it. I don't feel bad if you can't. I understand it's, you know, hard economy out there for some guys out there, um, some guys and girls, you know. So, all right, well, uh, that's what I have um, for you there. So, uh, comment, like, subscribe, hit the little bell, the little notification button. Uh, that way you'll get notifications when I post new videos. I do have a couple more spring videos coming out. Um, I'll be reviewing uh, Edelweiss, Edelweiss, that guy from Yankee Candle. Love it. Uh, I'll also be reviewing Happy Spring coming out here. The, this will be a, a Easter candle again this year. Uh, Emerald Isle, reviewing that too. Um, in jar form and this um, this form there. This is your St. Patrick's Day scents again this year. Um, as well as Lucky Shamrock is coming back as a returning favorite. So... Alright guys, well uh, thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, talk to you later.